are continuing to follow a developing story. A helicopter from Fort Rucker crashing in Dale County this afternoon. Two men on board are still in the hospital tonight with injuries believed to be non-life-threatening. WDHN's Alex Valdez has been at the scene since this afternoon and joins us now live with the latest. Alex? Amanda, I'm here in Dale County in the Marley Mill community, which is near Ozark, where investigators with the U.S. Army Safety Center have been here since early this afternoon looking to, into what exactly happened. And we're told investigators will be here well into the night trying to determine a cause for the crash. Fort Rucker confirms to WDHN that the aviation accident involved one of its AH-64 Apache helicopters and had two aviators on board. According to officials, this was a normal training flight, which majority of flights at Fort Rucker are. Two crewmen were on the helicopter. Uh, non-fatal injuries. They have been evacuated to a local hospital. The crash happened just before 2 o'clock Monday afternoon in the Marley Mill community on Dale County Road 108 and the intersection of West County Road 36. And at this time, the U.S. Army Safety Center is investigating how the crash happened. The U.S. Army Safety Center, which is actually at, based out of, out of Fort Rucker, uh, is taking control of the site here and they will be doing their investigation. So uh, as you have seen, it's actually, you know, actual damage to the helicopter um, and there's ongoing investigation. The U.S. Army Safety Center will be looking into factors such as how much training did the aviator have and when the last time the helicopter was maintenanced. We were told by officials the jaws of life were not used in the rescue. Dale County Sheriff's Office, fire, the Ozark Police Department, EMS and Alabama State Troopers all responded to the scene within minutes. They did an excellent job here, as you can see in front of us, uh, you know, being part of the team here to help us with this, this situation. So far, investigators have not determined an actual cause for the accident, but we are told that it will take a couple of days for them to see what exactly happened. And earlier at the scene, a PIO with Fort Rucker told me that the crash really did happen at the perfect location, avoiding two trailer homes, which were just feet away from where that chopper landed, and direct impact to the street, which could have made the situation much worse. You can, of course, trust WDHN will keep you updated with any new details. But for now, reporting in Dale County, Alex Valdez, back to you in the studio, Amanda. 